Hey YouTube, how's it going? So I've looked extensively into Bitcoin mining principles. And a few years ago, I used and I specifically purchased a graphics card for Bitcoin mining. And it worked okay for a while. It was mining at about 200 mega hashes per second. Now, during that process, I was considering purchasing a better graphics card. Um, I know people basically created farms where they purchased a bunch of motherboards and and put a bunch of um, graphics cards on their on these motherboards that could combine the power and they would get around one to two giga hashes per second on the Bitcoin mining. But here's the problem. Now they have something out called an ASIC miner. ASIC is a different way of Bitcoin mining and it creates it allows the user to get much more mining power per watt which one of the major issues of Bitcoin mining is well wattage and um, if you pay for your electricity um, wherever you're mining obviously that's pretty important um, but more importantly, here's the here's the reason why Bitcoin is never going to be profitable no matter what. So, like I said a few years ago, the standard was about a half of a giga hash or a half yeah a half of a giga hash per second as being the norm for mining Bitcoin. Now we're up to the pentahash. Okay? So there's big huge warehouses, data centers out there in United States and other countries that have been developed um for, you know, who knows? A million bucks, 2 million bucks um or more. Um and obviously these people have thought it out well they're they placed this um, data center in an area where electricity is relatively cheap but for the person that's sitting at home and thinking well I want to mine Bitcoin fine you're gonna have to spend at least at least a thousand dollars on a piece of mining hardware okay um, I was looking into the ant miner and the ant miner will successfully mine bitcoins but it's mining at about one terahash per second okay but you can get a brand new uh, Antminer S7 for approximately two thousand dollars with the power supply included. It's about eighteen hundred dollars. It's shipping out January twentieth four point I don't know four and a half terahashes per second. That's fine. I mean, I've crunched the numbers. There's a thousand different calculators out there um, where you can just go online, type in how much you're paying per watt, type in your per, or your uh, mining power, and the risk outweighs the benefit. Okay, because you're only going to be mining approximately two or three thousand dollars worth of bitcoins per year okay but 
you got something called the electric bill which will go up substantially when you're running something that's taking 1200 watts 24 7 and also they keep pushing out this new hardware do you think that somebody else out there that you know the, the people that have put together these boards these motherboards with a thousand graphics cards and, and they've they've created shelving and they have a place to mine and even if they're not paying any electricity at all it's still minimal profit and if you're looking at doing the mining you're going to have to shell out the cash for an ASIC miner because the difficulty has increased exponentially since Bitcoin was first known to mankind because as people purchase this new hardware there's some guy that's a millionaire out there and he's purchasing a thousand terahashes per second or whatever it may be he is going to succeed you are not because he's got more processing power than you next year they're going to be coming out with something even better more powerful whatever he's going to upgrade all of his hardware because he's a millionaire he's got the money he can spend this money on bitcoin mining and it's cyclical because number one the millionaire is able to lose a hundred thousand dollars the regular at-home consumer probably not so you gotta consider these things in addition you get you get an ASIC miner hell you could buy like six ASIC miners today right now okay but there's gonna be more that, more to it than that okay number one you're gonna to have to configure these things and they come with a 90-day warranty so let's say that they break six months in you're out eighteen hundred dollars nearly the only option you have at that point is to sell it on eBay now some of the problems that could arise from you know that, that could actually cause these things to fail could be heat moisture not being in the right environment things like that what's that mean well you're gonna have to get an air conditioner you're gonna have to pump cold air into these things all the time how much is that going to raise your electric bill? You're looking at another thousand watts to, to keep these things cool. You would make more profit buying stuff online or looking around in the stores and selling that on eBay. Clearly, you, you got to see my point here. I've crunched the numbers. The difficulty level of Bitcoin is like 10 billion. You cannot get a little USB stick thing that it, it mines at one giga hash per second. The graphics card mines at like 400 mega hashes per second. These little USB things are only 20 bucks. I guarantee you there's somebody out there with. 60 of these little USB things that mine at one giga hash per second. But I gotta tell you, even though those things only take three watts to run, you're still losing money. You're losing money by letting your computer run these little devices unless you have free electricity. If you have free electricity, just go to town. That's all I can say. You have to pay like five cents a watt 
to be able to make any profit on a one tera hash per second machine. In addition, it's got to be given to you in order for you to make any profit. These one tera hash machines are selling on eBay for like 400 bucks. In some cases, depending on your electricity cost, it may actually cost you money to run these things and mine for these coins. Now, it depends on how much the coin is worth. Currently, one Bitcoin is worth like 400 bucks. But I keep kicking myself because a couple years ago they were like 30 bucks a piece. Now, if everybody would have just went out and bought the Bitcoin at that point, that would have been the smart choice. Because then you could sell the Bitcoin, in turn use the profit to mine more Bitcoins, but it's still a losing battle. There's warehouses out there that are mining at one, two pentahash per second. I mean, they're probably mining six or seven bitcoins a month. Easy. So, if you think bitcoining is profitable, tell me your trick. I can't figure out a way to make this thing a profitable experience. I've looked and studied the return on investment so many times and I just can't. I, I, I can't figure out how it's actually going to increase your finances because you're consuming a lot of extra electricity depending on how much you're consuming depending on the difficulty of mining a bitcoin or one single block of 25 that's going to tell you your total profit in addition these ASIC miners are coming straight out of China these things get hot how are you monitoring that these things aren't catching on fire while you're not at home. I know, I know people have servers sitting in their server room or in their living room or whatever. They leave them run. That's fine. Dell and HP have probably made extremely, like, really good practices were put into building that server okay and if something's getting hot there's temperature monitors on there that will shut that thing down immediately but these ant miners I don't know I don't think there's anything on there I mean I've seen people uh, you know in my search on eBay it looks like you know, somebody uh, said that, that one of the boards heated up and it smelled like something was burning and, that, and, and now it doesn't work and they're selling it on eBay. I mean, what is the real risk here? I mean, you could be putting your home at a risk for fire. For what profits? You might make $700 the first year. If you have four or five terahashes per second, and somebody's going to snatch all those up, and, and when the price drops, they're going to be coming out with something new. Something that's going to mine at 20 terahashes per second. And then finally, they're going to come up with a pentahash machine. and. Where does it stop? Where, where do people think that they're making money on Bitcoin? I, I'm just struggling. I'm struggling to see the, the whole profitability thing here by buying 
something that's eighteen hundred dollars setting it and forgetting it for a year and then hopefully profit but how much profit right now where I live my power co consumption one tera hash per second will cost me fifty dollars a year to run when considering my power costs my power costs will be more money than the profit of bitcoins that I can actually successfully mine I mean we're talking like two thousand dollars worth of electricity being consumed to mine bitcoin so in my mind it's like buying something for four hundred dollars it doesn't play games it doesn't do anything but mine bitcoins that's it that's all that device does it does no more it does no less mines bitcoins that is all four hundred bucks and it costs you fifty dollars a year to run this thing I mean, do you think that's worth it is my is my calculations off my power is about ten to twelve cents per kilowatt after you take into consideration the other charges that are that are calculated on my bill so I'm just curious do you find it profitable what's the trick all right, let me know.